Good morning, everyone, and welcome to A Hat in Time. Get to the right screen. New input keyboard. Yeah, we're using the, um... <sighs> Delete save one. Let's do this. Uh, that was me testing, just getting audio levels, everything balanced. Welcome to A Hat in Time. Since it said I had one yarn ball, which means it's going to skip some cutscenes that we needed to see. So let's see what we start with. Gears for breakfast. I mean, probably not the healthiest thing, but it'll work. It'll work. And we zoom in on hat kids sleeping in their bed. Nice and comfortably. And I don't think I've ever actually watched this cutscene fully because I always get like, no, I'm done. Good morning, and welcome to yet another day of space adventure. You are only five light years away from your destination. Oh. oh. Only five flat years? That's not that bad. And the ship is flying at full speed. Today's student list contains waking up. But there we have now control. Nice. Like, look at this pillow fort. I would love to. Literally swim in it. You can see there is something once we clip the camera uh, to the right spot. You can see there is something under the pillow fort. Uh, the downside is we can't get to it yet. We're gonna need something later game to do so. But we can. And there's a bunch of these spots all over the game where you can sit down and actually take a look at the environment. Zoom in on that saw there. Nice little drink at the desk. Barks magazine. You get it. Lots of environmental stuff you can even see in this one. You can also check a lot of the items. First things first, a closet. You can only wear one outfit, so there's lots of room for skeletons. And then the chest, which is where we get a pawn. And also you can see in it lots of toys. But that's going to be it for right now that we can find in here. So we'll head into this room and... I was going to say watch TV, but I guess the big monitor has something more important for us. Over. I'm still going to ignore that. Where is my Roomba? Come back, Roomba! Come, come, come on. I've always been terrible at trying to jump on this thing. There. And we can get an achievement for this Vacuum Vandal. Uh, I hope that the overlay is showing those. Um, if not, well, I'm going to be listing them off um, as they happen. So we hit the big monitor, we have 40 out of 40 fuel. Um, so we're doing pretty good, five light years away. I wonder what adventures are going to happen in that five light years. There's one now. I still think it's weird that there's a flower and a weird sensor thing, but only in cutscenes. Uh, excuse you, I collected a pawn earlier, whatever. We're off to talk to this guy. Oh, also we could right trigger and it'll tell us if we have to talk to this guy. Yeah, that flower is in the cutscenes, but nowhere else. What is this? Flying boat? Yes, it's a flying boat. Need to pay toll in Mafia Town. Even in space. Mafia come in to collect. I like Mafia. I like the Mafia in this game, they're so nice. Even though... Uh, they're kinda... silly. So, we fall, but... What's worse is... All of our fuel comes flying out. And goes and lands on this planet. So, we now need to get... 40 of our fuel back. Uh, before we can get to our destination. Um, so we're breaking into Mafia Town. And I love these arts. These arts are amazing. And I believe there's one for every single uh, act. So for most of the um, timepieces, there will be um, one of those pictures that we get to see during it. Number one Mafia, a nice gold statue. And there was our fuel. And it always feels like it's loading slow to begin with. Oh. 
Are we on that TV? Yeah, we are. Huh. All right. Since you want, there's lots of pawns in this area, so we're gonna be collecting them. And I, I always feel that that's running slow when I see it, but I don't know. Well, let's go talk to them. Let's go talk to this girl, see if she'll tell us any information we need to know. We can double jump, we can wall jump, all those standard platforming things. There's also that, which looks fairly important. Uh, but we can't reach it yet. But I guess we'll have to remember it for later when we can do something about those green cat boxes. This area is huge and you have access to, I believe, 99% of it right now. So, uh, it's definitely easy to get distracted. Um, if you step on that red one, it tries to show you where they use uh, the red vault. It shows you, here I'll step on it now. It shows you lines out to where the coupons are. So, there's a code here. And we saw it on top of the building over here first time. So we'll just go grab all of them. Oh and we can now break into the Mafia uh, vaults. That gives us one of those pieces of yarn. Uh, that's what I had on my file up till this point. It was just that one because I wanted to uh, just make sure I knew where all three pieces were. This guy tripped us. But she has run off this way and is teaching us, more or less, how to travel through this area, though um, I'm not remembering exactly how to do half the things she's doing. Like, I'm trying to do the dash she did midair. also fight enemies. Life of Mafia is hard work. People, People no appreciate, appreciate dedication, dedication to job. That, that makes sense, I suppose. Oh, it's the other one. No wonder I keep mixing it up. Uh, so it's the um, right trigger, not the left trigger that I keep hitting. So hit this button and she will escape up top hey there. Down there. Don't think I didn't see you stalking me. So we were stalking her. Should stick together, not stalk one another. I mean, Mafia Town can be a really dangerous place. So what do you say? Want to join my little rebellion? Sure, we're oh, going to be joining the rebellion. By the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah. yeah. Yikes! Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? Tell you what, come up here, and I can show you where some of your junk landed. So we've got to make it up there now. I don't know if that button is going to be the actual way we make it up. Let's check. Because I have never played this game before. Oh. Yeah, that made that a little easier. So we can jump up here. And then we can hop over and actually climb. Oh. Never mind. I was actually a little scared about that. Shifting everything. Alright, we're following. But you can see. On over here. And if we look. Oh, I guess we can't look down. It'd be a great place to just jump off. However, I'm more excited because we saw this thing. So if we hold the right trigger while standing still, we'll crawl. If you hold the right trigger while running, you'll dash and that sort of thing. And dash. So we have enough, we could actually um, stitch up this hat, but I'm going to delay for right now because, I mean, we we rarely get a chance to use uh, the hat we're wearing now. So we are after 
mustache kid who's way over here now. Whoa! Be careful with your dash, I guess. Oh. I guess we skipped past their um, trigger, so they're not gonna say anything. Hey, I think one of your junk pieces fell and smashed right into the market's fountain. Junk pieces, not time pieces. Real junk good. pieces. Broke when the fountain. Over there, just avoid making eye contact with the mafia, and you'll be fine. Good, good luck, luck fellow rebel. rebel. See ya. So yeah, it just shows us where we're going. But we've got a lot of these pawns. I hope we can find something to do with them soon. All right, let's get our timepiece. Mafia, surprise, surprise, are not a fan of giving us our item back. I mean, I, I don't know how we would be surprised by this. But there, we have done enough damage that we actually got our first timepiece. However, I don't want to grab it quite yet. Uh, right next to here, we can already see there's a nice yarn hiding right here. Got it, and it's going to tell us again we've got enough yarn to stitch it. I'm not worried about that. I saw this other vault and I figure we're going to all of them at this, like all the vaults as we see the best. So we can see one has got one just up over there. One is way up Tom. So we'll go get this side first. Yeah, it's just up there. Which means it should just be a quick climb. And it's kicking around on that piece of like right here. The first of the Mafia code. Then we see another one is just sitting on top of that. Back up we go! On top of that, um... What are they called? Those wires. Oh, okay. we still have X, so we can kill these birds, even though they just want to bug us while we're doing things like this. So, oh, we we landed on it and then we, we almost fell. So the only one we don't have, we're missing one, and we can see it right there at the edge of the time bubble, which is what I'm going to call it, even if it's not the actual name for it. Still collecting a little more pawns. Alright, we've got all three. What is our reward for it? I'm hoping it's another piece of yarn like it was last time, but I honestly don't know what's in this blue one. Um, so. It is. It is a. Another. Um, game. I was gonna say, you're not letting me run into any of these things. So now we have enough, we can actually stitch this one, uh, which is the reason I delayed on the uh, sprint hat, because the brewer's hat is a lot more useful. Uh, yeah, and if you hold uh, left trigger, which is what we were using at one point, yeah, see, that's why. You can immediately get another sprint yarn, and as a result, you'll be able to stitch this sprint hat very quick. Oh. More Mafia. I guess uh, it's not unlocked yet. Or it's just a, a death area. But I think that's good for our first part. Or at least getting our first timepiece. So. I want to explore this area because you have access to the entirety of Mafia Town right now. If you uh, want to do anything. So I want to explore um, Mafia Town. Probably in a future one, there are plenty of um, parts that take place in the same town. Come on, game. Sorry, my computer's chugging a bit trying to do this. But at this point, we have gotten our first one. We've got our cool new hat. And we have lit up this entire place. And the power has been restored in the main hall. The chapter Mafia Town is available. So you can see the area is unlocked, and over here, because we have, we can actually blow up and see, one, there's a lot of pawns there, but two, 
Small machine that takes tokens and gives the gift in returns. I hate gifts. But we don't have any rift tokens, so we can't use it anyways. We're gonna sit, relax on our chair, take a look at the planet. But that's not all. We also have this one right here. And if I fit, I sit. So that's three achievements we've gotten in this one. Uh, in the next part, we are actually going to be continuing on to here. You can see, well, I'll explain it next time. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.